Hello, and welcome to XCOM Apocalypse. Uh, last episode, we did some raids, we got some people brain sucked, which was unfortunate. Uh, I did just a couple of, of uh, stun raids off screen, just because I wanted to get a very specific thing from Marsec, which I managed to do. And now I'm just going to re-equip my people, and I got somebody I need to rename. And then we'll be able to just kind of let things roll and see see how everything goes. Force. So you can see I've got... Oops! <laughs> that doesn't go there. So you see I've got... Um, a different type of leg unit. This is from the flying suit. Now you can't buy the flying suit until week two, but if you if you raid Marsec or get raided by Marsec, there's a chance that you can you can get one. And uh, I did. I did a a stun raid, and now I've got one <laughs> a single body. And again, the bodies are really all that you need. But I've got my new recruit, Alexander. Sanikov? I think I said that right. I'm not 100% sure. Oh. Capital S. This game is very, very picky. Sometimes when you put a name in, it's even though you, like, did the shift, it doesn't always work. And he wanted... A jetpack. Yep, that's it. And I can do that. In fact, I've already done it. <laughs> He's got the jetpack. So one thing that um, I didn't show off last time, that I'm gonna show off this time, or maybe I did show it off and I just don't remember. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do eight. Eight people. And then I put them on. You see, it took all of them. So now you can equip all eight of them at the same time. And they'll all be set up exactly the same way. So all eight of these people have a machine gun. They've got the two ammos, two stun grenades. I guess I'll give them a smoke grenade. And then I can put... What is that? Oh yeah, the mind shield. <laughs> I might need to buy more med kits. Yeah, I've got two more guys, but only one more med kit. So that is what I will do. Because it's not... Um... Actually, maybe what I'll do is... Oh, it is after midnight. And there's no new people. So I'll have to run out the whole day. You only get people once a day. I'm not producing anything. It's not worth it to do that right now. You only get new people once a day. And this stuff only refills once a week. I'll get rid of these proximity lines. I'm never going to use them. Same thing with this. I don't need those things. Sniper gun. Eh. I don't think I'm ever going to use these. But I'll keep them just in case. You never know. Stun grapple, mine shield. Yeah, see, it's worth nothing. <coughs> it's not an item you can buy. It's not really supposed to like. It's it's cut content. The mind shield is cut content, and r the only way you can get it is how I did, which was like uh, a raid on Marsec. I believe it was supposed to increase your side defense. And I'll buy up all of the med kits. I don't need that many, but I want them. <laughs> so the cyclone is just like 
it's like a drug or something actually but you can see it's got quite a lot of value so I'm gonna save that for if I ever really need money actually I believe the UFOpedia equipment will it be in here Lyrium. oh there we go cyclone so there it is oh it's an implant any mental state or images just by imagining them yeah and of course the government doesn't like fun so they had to ban it so now it's gone up quite a lot I don't know if the mind shield will show up in here power sword oh well that's the mind bender that's the psionic thing Yeah, look at this. This is what our machine gun looks like. Some kind of weird... Looks like a street sweeper shotgun, almost. Look at the size of that barrel. And look at the little rounds. Like, what the heck? High explosive, proxy mine. No, it doesn't show up. I didn't think it would because it's... Uh... And then there's nothing here. Nothing yet. Anyways, and then I don't know if I showed this. Yeah, so sensor vision. I might need to keep an eye on that. So you're just gonna wait for my stuff to show up. So you can see my <laughs> my guys are a little wounded, a little worse for wear. So I'm hoping not to get too many alerts. And then these next two people will be auto cannons. Now, if I was smart, or if I cared more, I would put the auto cannons on the strongest because they're heavy. So people who are really strong with good accuracy are the ones who should have the auto cannons, right? And well, they're both pretty strong because you can see how, like, especially this Wolfgang dude. Like, just having all of his equipment, his his speed is super low, so he's gonna run out pretty fast. 7% improvement. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, and I don't... Okay. So one thing I need to watch out for is um, inflating the score. So if I keep doing... Yeah, to mention gates, pure means, which the alien craft travel from their home world. Our craft can't get through yet. Uh, we need to disable UFO wing control system, which we'll do. And I don't think there's... Oh yeah, there are. There are two. I need to be careful about making sure our score doesn't get... Doesn't get inflated by doing those raids. The stun raids. Because the... The enemies... Six, one group of six. Yeah, sure, why not? You know what? And for fun, we'll send the whole gang. <laughs> uh, the aliens, they'll get stronger. It's like the force level in XCOM, Enemy Unknown, XCOM 2, right? So by having a really good score, right, so we can see from missions, I'm at 1400 already. And that's going to make things more difficult. Research and whatever. So alien incidents. Every time there's an incident, we get a, a penalty. Shooting down aliens gives us a good. If we lose craft, we lose. UFO incursions also lose. So this is really what you can control. Damage to the city. So if you wanted to like tank your score, you could, you could do some serious damage to the city which will bring your score down, which should, in theory, make the aliens a bit easier. So what I would do, what I could do, is I could attack this. So destroying these four buildings here could really get us some decent cash. And how would I do that? Well, I could... Purchase another hover car. And then... 
Where is it? Is it? Nope, not that one. There we go. The Justice. So that's 11. 11.50. So 78%, 74%. So I could buy two of these bad boys. These Justice Missile Launchers and that Retribution Missile Launcher. It's just a one-shot big damage. So 68 damage. 50 damage. But you don't get very many of them. So this would be three reloads. I can't remember how big this is. Does this fit on the hover car? I guess we'll find out. And then what I could do is I could like... Where's that? Oh, there it is. So I could just tell it to like hover here, just sit here, and then attack this building, and then immediately get into like anywhere, just say here then the missiles will hit this building and ideally knock down the building but not do too much damage to like anybody around and then one that would drain money out of the cult because they'd have to pay to fix to fix their building and it would lower our score because there's damage to the city but you don't want too much you don't want to go too crazy and cause a bunch of damage that's going to make transstellar mad because they're kind of like the big dogs. <laughs> if, if you don't have Transstellar, then you're not going to have anybody to move your stuff around. And that makes the game very difficult. Did I not set them to run? Is this guy's stamina so bad? Oh my goodness. I thought it was the rookie. Boris. Where's Alex? Oh, Alex almost got brain sucked. Where did that come from? Okay, multi worm. Him there kneeling. One thing I forgot to mention about those brain suckers is uh, an easy way to fight them or to kill them. I guess it doesn't kill them, just stun stuff. Who died? Oh, the spitter. Is to. Uh, is to have your guys laying down on the ground. Hey, is Boris a psychic unit? Oh, he is. Damn it, I should set him up for that. There we go. Yeah, so when your guys are laying down, and the, it's, like, it's kind of a bug, and then when they, when they jump on you, they get stunned. And then they can't really do anything. Is this one alive? Oh, it is. It's stunned. Oh, we'll wait. He can't come out this way. He has to come out here. Yeah, these guys are crouching. Make sure we don't get ambushed. No, it's still stunned. And I know it's done because it didn't spit out the hyperworms. This one is also stunned. Is there a spitter over here? Sounds like it. Ah, oh, maybe it bled to death. Damn, 
hyper worms. Oh, it sounds like a spitter. There's another multi worm over here. Multi worms are very tough. And they do a ton of damage. Okay, can you... oh, there is a spitter over here, too. Please leave. Perfect. We're going to go this way. some of them. See if we can deal with these guys in a way that doesn't uh, get anybody super hurt. Yeah, and that kills them all. That's it. We won. <laughs> Alex got chewed up and he didn't even get a promotion. <laughs> Take that as a win. Oh crap! Oh, I gotta tell everybody to come home. So my my little cheeky thing about oh well we'll just we'll just send everybody. Ha <laughs> ha! It's wasting my time. Oh no, they don't fit. They fit on this though. Wham bam. Yes, for now I'll just do this. I don't want the missiles because they destroy everything. And I gotta wait for these idiots to get back. Because, uh, Boris attacking. Attacking an enemy building, <laughs> it's like kicking a hornet's nest. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What did you shoot? The stupid bike? Oh, God. Well, <laughs> sanctuary clinic's not gonna be happy. sure you turn them off. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, they're willing to forgive me this time. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, there you go. Damage to city. Yeah, normally Transtellar doesn't like it when you wreck their roads like that. And then you can you can bribe them, but it's super expensive. Okay, so we're rearmed. Let's try this again, okay? <laughs> so we're we're gonna go here. We're gonna pause the game. We're gonna say attack this building. Okay, shoot. Okay, we're gonna Ah, oh, right, I gotta do that first. Okay, we're gonna go back here. Is there any... Damn it, I'm gonna shoot that stupid bike again. Alright, let's... Let's give this another go. Okay, we're gonna shoot that. We're gonna turn our missiles back. Yeah, exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Nope, he's shooting it the other way. Okay, good. Attack that. Now quickly get in this building here. Oh, well, they didn't come out. Normally what happens is they... <laughs> they they come out and fight you, but I guess because I, I ran away right away, they didn't bother. I'm not going to keep doing that, it's just like, it was just to kind of show, this is how, come on, this is how you could control, potentially control your score, by doing stuff like that. I should sell this engine, because I don't need it. And then to re-equip my people. Same thing. Wow, this guy used up uh, a whole machine gun round. So I can pick them both, put this there, put this there. But I think instead what I'm gonna do with Boris is I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him this. I'm gonna get rid of his stun. just have one and then I'll give him the plasma pistol so Boris should be like Micheline yeah I see oh she's got two stun grenades let's get rid of that missing it would just fill them in all right and now if we look here well it hasn't had any time pass yet good so now we can start capturing aliens now that we have the bow transport well not yet we can't catch them yet I need to build the thing first and I'm gonna take this opportunity to show another exploit there I go so let's look at my money I've got a hundred and two thousand seven hundred and ninety if I go to assign and then back out and then assign and then back out every time I click assign I get this $700 over and over and over again so a bit of a bug there and again it's not really it's not really worth spending your time on for like the transport module because it's not worth a whole lot of money but later on you could make a lot of money out of that if if you wanted so security the physics lab stores living quarters yeah so that'll be these here and then eventually I'll get like a four space 
I should rebuild. I'm going to move my alien containment and then destroy it because I've got. I'm going to have to have like a large, large physics, and then like a large biochemistry med bay, living quarters, and then I can get rid of these two, and then I can put the engineering because you'll eventually get like. A large for each one of these quantum physics biochemistry engineering like your workshop there so let's take a peek here now it's all gone no more aliens no more alien scum take another peek still no alien scum but I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little peek okay so there's a gate there. There's still a gate by Transteller. All right, two, three, four, five, six. Over here. These ones can be dangerous because it's easy to like knock them off. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how it's like a mushroom shape? So if this gets damaged, this whole thing can collapse, and if your guys are coming out, they'll die. And then I will move... One here. One here. Oh, it's the same thing, okay. And one here. This is, this is the cult, isn't it? Yeah. Now everybody's spreading out. So the aliens, they tend to come like late in the day. They can come during the day, like they can come, they can really come anytime. But you tend to see them more late. An organic construction process. The skin is strong and unusual. So they can go through, but we can't. I think... I think we need to research... Okay, good, I got one biotransport module now. And really, is one, one is all that you need. Like, this one, provided this doesn't get shot down, should cover us for, like, the whole game. Uh, it's been about half an hour. Well, let's keep going in case there's alien. Oh, no aliens! Got my stores, my security station. So now I can go back here. So I built stores, so I don't need these stores. Then I can put another security station here. Let's recruit some more soldiers. Fresh meat for the grinder. Oh, these guys suck. Nope. And no. Unfortunate, but they're not very good. To the things move. I've got to use my keyboard. i got to be very careful because it likes to jump around. And we will save the game. <laughs> and then keep going. Oh, Brain Sucker Launcher. I don't have any more here yet. Not until I can capture more aliens. Actually, let's... Nope. So one thing that... Uh, that was mostly cut but still somewhat exists is the organizations attacking each other so Megapool was raided by this gang so, so Diablo attacked the cops they they went into one of their buildings and they attacked them right and that still happens even though like most of like the political stuff was cut out of the game and what it does is it affects it affects who was that Oh, the cult. <laughs> because I wrecked their buildings, their balance is at 167,000. So it really messes them up. And then their income is only 95, so it's going to take them two weeks to get back into the green. And then you can see their income is ridiculous. But right now their balance isn't very high. Oh, there we go. What is it? Just these little guys? 
and they didn't move, so that's good. Shoot, where did I put these guys? <laughs> Who's close? These bikes, I think, right? Yeah, okay. And these are the ones that we have to watch. Because these are the guys that um, can dump, dump soldiers. And I've got six here, I believe. This is the one close to my base. Oh, this one did move. Okay, one of them moved. But this is the hover cars. And then these ones we don't need to worry so much about because they they can't drop troops. Okay, so that looks like it's going to be everybody. And we'll go like this. Here, one more here. And one more here. And UFO. Because there's UFOs, we'll save it just in case something happens to the game. Which can happen. It's always a risk. Shot up. Oh, just a little bit. So this is the one that we need to watch. We'll send these guys after this one. Yeah, why not? And this is the only one left. see where it's going. Doesn't look like any of them deposited troops. Of course. <laughs> because I said that. So we're going to go here. And I think... Oh, we destroyed that other one again. This guy's getting away. Okay, so they're all going back to base, return to base, return to base. Not you. Return, return, return. And this is the one that matters. Because it's got our... It's going to have our soldiers on it. Okay, so who do we bring? Eh, let's not bring Alex because he's still kind of hurt. I only want people who are... Full. Eight. Two squads of four. Oh, he's still dicking around. I bet you I could probably just find the bloody place. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah, and now all of my little bees are st struggling to get in. All right, I'm confident that it was here, but I've got 34 minutes, so I'll save the game, and then next time we can run through the battle. See you guys next time.